Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from today's preview, today is going to have a lot of different types of cleaning in it and I hope you guys get so much motivation from today's video. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and say hey in the comments and let me know what you guys are doing on your to-do list today. So in today's video, we're starting with the kids making their own beds and I just wanted to show you because I always get comments about whether the kids actually do anything around the house and how they should be doing chores and stuff like that. And I wanted to let y'all know that they do, but I don't always show that in my videos. So today they're showing you how they make their beds and you're going to see they have gotten so good at it and they're much better at doing this during the summer than during the school year. Um, but they do have a chore chart, they do the chores and they get a dot on their chore chart and they also get paid for it as well. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing the kids help out in today's video. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the finale. <laughs> Don't fall off the bed. Now another thing that's on their chore chart is for them to put their own clothes up. Sometimes I have them help me fold clothes, but majority of the time I fold the clothes, lay them out in their beds, and then they put their clothes up and put them away. Now another question I get anytime I share the kids' bedrooms is where their bedding is from and it's actually from Betty's and they're amazing. They just zip their beds up. It's so stinking easy and they are a little bit pricier but I feel like they're totally worth it and then they also give me a 20% discount code to share with my followers. So if you use the code AmyD at checkout then you get 20% off. Now you can probably see a little bit from these clips that the kids' rooms are not completely clean right now, but we are not going to worry about that in this video. I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of how they help me around the house. <laughs> Good job. Now this little clip right here is going to give you a glimpse of real life and what it really looks like for me on a day to day basis when my kids are at home with me and I'm filming. Um, they're actually just trying to get up under me now because I helped film them so they want to stay in the video. So Gracie June said she wanted to help make my bed and I let her help me a little bit and then we are moving on to some more cleaning. All right, so now I'm gonna clean up all of this stuff. It's actually already put in bags, like I have it all organized, but it's all the kids' school supply stuff. We went shopping the other day and got all their school supplies. So I'm just gonna put it in this big box that came from Amazon because I'm gonna be filming a video for next week and I'm gonna be labeling a bunch of their stuff. I'm gonna be prepping for back to school and all of that. So all that stuff will be in that video. I also got some stuff from Grove Collaborative in that I need to go put away. Um, I got these little European dishcloths. They're almost like reusable paper towels. And then I got this little scrub brush. This is good for cleaning the showers. I like those for that. Another one for the sink. Um, I got some reusable sandwich bags. I thought these would be good for back to school and these are the sandwich bag sizes. And then this one came in a set of like a little one and then a bigger sandwich bag size. Um, some stick sunscreen, some activated charcoal teeth whitening stuff. I've never tried this before, so we'll see if that works. Um, and then I got this. I always use this. I love this stuff. It's the Energizing Coffee 2-in-1 Scrub and Cleanser Stick. Love it. I got some more Method Body Wash. Some more sponges. The Grove Collaborative sponges are my all-time favorite sponges. They're the walnut ones. 
and it comes in a pack of two. So I got four of those. I got some more dish soap, hand soap, and the honeysuckle scent. That's my favorite scent. And yeah, so that's it for that. I'm gonna go put this stuff up too. to get some help from this guy to get back there and get all of our fall tubs out. So this is really all that I have for fall. I don't think I'm gonna use any of that stuff and I'm debating on whether I'm gonna use this stuff or not. I still like this one. This is from Hobby Lobby, but I'm not sure if it's gonna go with all my decor. And then same with this, like I really like it, but I just need to decide where I would actually use it. So these are maybe for decor. And then of course I have these really pretty stems and then I have a ton of like the felt pumpkins. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use the plaid or not this year. Um, I got these from Target Dollar Spot a few years ago. A lot more pumpkins in there. And then I like the color of these and I used these in my dining room or in my breakfast area last year. So I'll probably use those there again. And then these are more for outside. I'll probably put those on the front porch, but and then this wreath right here is the one that we got from Kirkland's last year and I still love it. So I'm probably gonna use that on the front door. And then I might go back to Kirkland's. They had some really pretty wreaths and I might get one for right here. And then the rest of this stuff is Halloween decor. So I'm gonna probably put that stuff back up in the attic and I won't decorate for Halloween until closer to October. All right, so now that you've seen what I have for fall, I'm gonna show you a few new items that I have in, and then I'm gonna actually show you my Pinterest board where I'm getting my inspiration for how I'm kind of doing my house this year. All right, so these are some of the pieces that I've just gotten in, and so as you can see, I haven't gotten much for this year yet, so I definitely have some shopping to do, but I wanted to share these three pieces today because this is kind of this color scheme that I'm going for this year is more of like a neutral decor, and um, not so much bright oranges and buffalo plaid like I've done in the past, but these three pieces are from my friend Skye's shop. Her shop is called House and Home, and she just launched all of her fall stuff, but she has tons of home decor in her shop. It's beautiful, simple home decor, and she, she does have more of like a farmhouse feel, so if you guys are into that, then you're definitely gonna love her shop, but I'll leave a link to her shop below in case you're interested in checking that out, but the first item that I got from her is this pillow and it just says I love you more than pumpkin anything and I thought this would be really cute in like the entryway and then I got this pumpkin spice candle it smells so good and then this is probably my favorite out of the three pieces that I got but it's the table runner that I'm going to use on my table here in the dining room and I'm actually going to do like a tablescape or something for fall with this now, I also wanted to let y'all know that Sky has a YouTube channel called House and Home, so it's the same as her decor shop, and we are collaborating on today's video. In her video today, she's going to be decorating a space in her house for fall, so she's gonna give you some decorating ideas and a little bit of inspiration there. As you can see, her house is just gorgeous. She always has the best decorating ideas and I love how simple her decor is and how she puts everything together. It's just so pleasing to the eye and I love how everything just looks so uncluttered and just put together. So as soon as you get done watching my video, I want you to check the link in my description box so you can go check out Sky's video and subscribe to her channel, tell her that I sent you and show her lots of love in the comments. 
But like I said, I'm super excited about the items that I've gotten from her so far, but I'm probably gonna go get some more stuff out of her shop and use it for fall. I'm also planning on getting a few things from Hobby Lobby, Target, and Kirkland's. Kirkland's actually had a lot of really cute stuff this year. Um, and then these three little picks I just got from Hobby Lobby the other day. They were $2.99 each. Um, but they were 40% off. So I did go browsing the other day and I'll actually post a shop with me on my Team Darley channel. So I went to Kirkland's, Hobby Lobby, and I also went to Michael's, which I didn't find anything at Michael's that I really liked. But um, I did some browsing and kind of made a game plan. And so this is kind of what I'm going for is just more neutral decor this year. You know that all right, so now I'm just going to put all the decor that I plan on using back into this tub, throw it in the office until I go get the rest of my decor and I can actually start decorating. And then like I said earlier, these Halloween tubs are going back into the attic. Next, I have a few loads of laundry to do because we always have laundry and it just is never ending. <laughs> And now we're on to a new day of cleaning and Chance is actually about to clean out my van. But I wanted to let y'all know that he started a YouTube channel called Clean Freak. And I will actually show you a little preview of the video that he posted yesterday on his channel after he gets done cleaning my van. But the reason that his channel all came about was because on this day we came home and Gracie June had eaten McDonald's in the car. And when we were getting out of the car, she actually dropped her fruit punch all over the outside of the van, like where the door opens. You can't really see it here. But I was a little frustrated and Chance said that he would actually clean it for me. And when he came out, he saw what a disaster it was. We have dirt all over the car from Kaysen's cleats and just all kinds of things in here. So he said he would clean it for me and I told him to film it. And then after he started filming, he came up with the idea to do a whole channel dedicated to detailing and cleaning out cars because he loves it. It's just so satisfying to him to take a project that is a total disaster and then make a complete transformation. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy seeing him clean out my car. It was obviously a disaster. He's not doing a complete detail today. He's just kind of cleaning as fast as he can just based on the amount of time that he had. But if you want to see some complete detailing transformations, then definitely go check out his channel so you can see those videos.
to be But she says Wait, you forgot something Every good thing comes to an end At least it always happened to me I'm telling you this now You don't need to worry Cause I got this all down And we get all together And we
It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? All right, so now that he's done with my car, I wanted to show you the quick before just to remind you guys of what it looked like. And then I'm going to show you the after so you can see what a huge difference just a little bit of time made. And like I said, this wasn't even his full detailing. He just did a quick cleanup because he didn't have as much time. Usually when he details cars, it takes all day long. It's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't it's like we're living in two separate worlds come on back to me so now that you saw my car I want to show you a little preview of the video that he posted on his channel yesterday and so this was the disaster car that he did and it turned out so good in the end so if you want to check out that video which I highly recommend because it's so stinking satisfying then check out the link and make sure to subscribe to him while you're there Alright, so while he was cleaning outside, I was cleaning inside and I need to get this kitchen cleaned up and it's not too bad, but I also want to go into my fridge because we had to go grocery shopping, but before we did that, I wanted to get rid of a lot of stuff in here and organize it and clean the fridge out because there was a mess all inside and then also in our freezer, I'm going to clean that out as well. I got some new little organizing bins from Amazon, so I'll show you guys that stuff in a little bit and just show you guys how I end up organizing in here. I love it so much better and it's just so much more functional now. Here with me. We never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're Now, how sweet is this little painting that a sweet subscriber sent me? It's from Heidi, and her Instagram is Green Tree Bungalow, and she does these paintings of portraits of families, or I guess she could do anything, but she took a portrait that we had done, and I posted on my Instagram, and she repainted it and sent it to us to our P.O. box, and I was just so excited because... I've never had anything like that before, so thank you to Heidi, and I'm definitely going to be displaying that in our house. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me, say that you won't go. I can't cope without you. can't tell what's wrong or right should i go without saying goodbye all i know is i need to be somewhere else to set me free i don't know what to do now need to figure it out but i don't know how i hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where i should be Now here in our sink, I'm just using the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser and I'm just going to clean out the inside of the sink really quick because we'd had dishes sitting in here. But usually I just use the Mrs. Meyers hands or dish soap, not hand soap, the dish soap during the day. But because we had had that stuff sitting in there, I felt like it stunk a little bit and I definitely needed to clean it out. Oh, I wonder if there's a place where the sun won't go. 
wide awake with an open mind looking out from a mountain high. I don't know what to do now we're moving to cleaning out and organizing the fridge and I'm going to start by just taking everything off of the shelves first and then I'm going to clean those down, organize those, and then I'll actually start cleaning out the drawers and then I'll do the interior of the door. So I'm kind of doing it in sections just because it is stuff that is cold and also when you leave the fridge open for a long period of time it starts beeping at you and the light turns off. <laughs> So to clean the inside of my fridge today, I'm using an e-cloth and hot water, and then I'm gonna go back over all the surfaces and dry them off with a dry rag. So these are the containers that I picked up off of Amazon and I actually saw Joanna Thornton share these and so she shared them in organizing her refrigerator and I, so I wanted to get them too. <laughs> so I got these, they come in two different sizes. They have a bigger size and then a smaller size and I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to use them so as I'm going through and reorganizing the fridge, I'm just doing whatever works best for our refrigerator because we do have the side by side. And so um, I'm just kind of playing around with things and I feel like it turns out really good in the end. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out Wanna do this right There's no doubt in my mind Baby, you're the one And tonight I am going all the way mm, The way you touch my Doesn't show, but my nerves are inside out. It's because you're not worth less than perfection. Ooh, thought it was in my hands. Now I'm all confused. Turning gold into sand. Don't know what you do to me. I know you can take my breath away. Yeah, this way you touch my hand, it all goes away.
So as I was filming, Gracie June wanted to help me out too, so I let her help me put all the condiments and things back in the fridge. Now I did not end up using any of the smaller bins in my refrigerator, but I am gonna use them in the freezer, so I'll show you that in just a minute. But this is what the inside of the refrigerator looks like now, and I'll kind of show you what I have on each shelf. So starting with the top shelf, we have all of our liquids, so our milks and creamers, egg whites. Then going to the next shelf, I have lots of dips and um, jellies, and then I also have a small thing of strawberries and grapes. The next shelf, I have a bunch of snacks, which is more like Greek yogurts and things like that, but I also left a space for any leftovers. And then this next shelf, I have cheeses and eggs, and then here we have deli meat, and then also some sliced cheese and other like sausage, breakfast sausage. This is our vegetable drawer. We obviously need to go grocery shopping, like I said earlier. And then down in the bottom drawer, this is where I like to keep the kids' snacks and running low there too. <laughs> Now on the inside of the door we have our cream cheese, butter, sliced cheese, and then now we have all of our condiments. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but we really like hot sauce. We have lots and lots of hot sauce. We have also have lots and lots of dressings and just lots of yummy sauces. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to start on the freezer and I didn't show every single bit of this part just because it was taking me so long and I also had to do this one in a lot more sections because it was freezer food, but I did end up getting rid of a lot of stuff that I felt bad about wasting, but it had been in there for so long and we didn't even know it was in there. So anyways, I probably need to clean out my fridge a lot more often. So this is what the freezer turned out like, and it looks so much better. On this top shelf, we have ice creams and snacks, um, dessert type stuff. Then on the next shelf, we have breakfast items. So we have pancakes and biscuits, and then I also have some ice packs that Kaysen uses to ice his arm down. On this shelf, we have like bagged shrimp, and then we also have some bagged vegetable pastas. On this shelf, we have Gracie June's peanut butter and jellies. She would much rather have these Uncrustables than a regular peanut butter and jelly. And then I also left room for some freezer meals or leftover meal prep stuff. The next one is like french fries and corn dogs, chicken nuggets, lots of things for the kids. And then this bottom shelf is our frozen veggies. Now most of our meats are actually in our outdoor freezer. We have a deep freezer in the garage for that. Now in the door, we keep some frosted mugs, some frozen cranberries, and then also some ice packs for the kids' lunch boxes. Now that that is all done, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all the counters in here with the Jaws kitchen cleaner. And then I'm gonna vacuum really quickly. This is not a deep cleaning day. This is just a normal everyday kind of cleaning. And I definitely end up cleaning again after dinner because we always make a huge mess during dinner. But this is just what I do on a normal day-to-day -day basis. Doing what you do, doing what you do. 
So that is all the cleaning I'm gonna do for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got so much motivation from it and got some things checked off of your to-do list or are about to go get some things checked off. And I just wanna say a huge thank you for showing up for another video and taking the time out of your busy schedules to support my channel. Y'all mean the world to me. Don't forget to go check out Sky's video. I have a link to House and Home and her video down in the description box. And also check out Chance's new channel clean freak. You're going to love it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right. So now that the kitchen is clean, we've got this big old mess over here that these girlies have been making. Right, Gracie June? Have y'all been making a mess? <laughs> and then Cooper just been waiting on someone to drop something.